Hello friends, time for Super Start Select again and we're very happy to have you back. It's been a week of ups and downs for the British games industry as my esteemed colleague here Seb told you all about only yesterday. Developers are getting tax breaks but sadly retailer game is more or less circling the financial drain. At least there are some notable games out, hey with Ninja Gaiden 3, Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City and Kid Icarus Uprising slinking into shops right now. And coming up in today's smorgasbord of video game delicacies, you'll find release dates for Motorbike Racer Trials Evolution and Block Basher Minecraft on the Xbox 360. And then time for a quick chat with the lovely Notch, creator of Minecraft himself. And speaking of Trials Evolution, GameSpot UK takes on the new same screen multiplayer in a GS UK team tournament. That's the plan, on with the show. First up, Microsoft announced its impending spring season of Xbox Live Arcade releases, which includes Trials Evolution, which we'll see more of in just a moment, on April 18th for 1,200 points, and Minecraft, whose creator we'll see more of in just a moment, on May 9th for 1,600 points. This new version of Minecraft comes bearing a new crafting interface, a very welcome tutorial mode and lovely four-way split screen, so the whole family can gather around and dig blocky trenches together. Oh, and there's eight-player online fun times over Xbox Live. Also in the series of XBLA launches is Fable The Journey, the Kinect-based last Lionhead game produced on the watch of Microsoft quitter Peter Molyneux, which is out for 800 points on May 2nd, and bloody fantasy hack and slasher Bloodforge out on April 25th, the day after my birthday, for 1200 Microsoft points. Just last Friday, Marcus Person, better known as Notch, picked up a special achievement prize from the British Academy for his services to gaming. That is, the creation of indie hero title, Minecraft. Well, Minecraft goes from strength to strength and platform to platform, and with that Xbox 360 version arriving on May 9th, our own video producer Cam nipped down to the British Academy Video Game Awards ceremony to see how he looked in a tux. Also, what he's working on and all that. This has been just, just an incredible thing over the last few years. Um, when you very first sat down and conceptualized the idea and did the first bits of work in it, what, where did you think it would go realistically at that time? I was hoping to spend uh, half a year to a year on it and maybe make enough money to start a new game. That was kind of my semi-realistic uh, dream for it. Wow, so it was like a stopgap. And it's coming to Expo 360. Well, can you tell us more about that? Uh, I'm not supposed to say in the dates because you apparently have a marketing plan which is kind of new to us, because we, we don't really have like a Mojang, but at uh, Microsoft they have that, which is wonderful, because then we don't need to focus on that. Um, but it's going very well. I played uh, a new version recently where they had the split screen support in, and you can just jump in by just pressing a start button. It worked just flawlessly. Obviously, right now is a, is a really interesting and also quite difficult time for the games industry. What do you think about um, the situation, particularly with game at the moment in, in the UK? Well, I think uh, that's an unfortunate side effect of uh, digital distribution. And I think digital distribution is saving gaming. So I'm kind of torn. I think it's very sad, but I think it's also very fun. So it's, it's uh, hard to be happy or sad about it. Congratulations on the whole Skrulls thing. And we can't, can't wait to see that, that game coming out. I mean, are, there, are you currently working on other little projects at the moment? Are you, are you always doing lots of different things? Yeah, I'm actually working on three different things now because, I don't know, uh, when I gave away the lead role to Jens, I, I thought I'm going to take a short break from creating games and then I'll start a game this summer. But it turns out I can't really not make games. So I kind of... Well, I'm working on a game called Minitale, which I'm hoping to get finished. And then I started for some reason doing a Team Fortress 2 RTS game that I probably will not release. I'll just make it for fun. And then I started prototyping a space game. Fantastic. Any chance you might call any of them Oblivions? Uh, Good idea, yeah. Yes, good idea. I think that would go down well. I don't see any legal hurdles at all. That's going to work. Would you ever consider making a game purely for a handheld device? Would that be something you'd be interested in? Yes. I think uh, I would be scared of doing the actual programming on it, because I've never done anything like that. But it would be very interesting to do some game design for that. This year is, is another, gonna be another big year for games. Yes. Uh, there's a whole load of exciting ones coming out. Is there anything that you particularly got on your radar that you're, you're keen to see how it develops? Uh, yes, Guild Wars 2. Wars 2. Yes. Okay. It's, uh, they're doing some interesting things with uh, 
like the whole online thing and PvP and all of that. It's going to be very cool to see. Fantastic. Um, well, just want to say one last question about this award. Where is that going to sit? Well, uh, I was going to put it on a shelf, but then I noticed how heavy it is. So we're going to have to get a really sturdy shelf for it. When this game's predecessor came out in the summer of 2009, we played it to death, fanatically chasing higher spots on Friends leaderboards. We have that side-scrolling physics-based motorbike racer to thank for our brawny, overdeveloped trigger controller fingers. They're like tiny Olympic weightlifters. But that was Trials HD, and it's nearly time for Trials Evolution, the sequel out on April 18th, that might just be superior in every way. Not least because this time there's all new local same screen multiplayer, as we see here. Hey everyone, welcome to a now playing with Trials Evolution and me, Jane Douglas, and three other guys. Introduce uh, yourselves. If hey, you would. I'm Seb. Video producer Seb. Hey, Seb. <laughs> handsome Seb, they call me. Hey, handsome Seb. And Cam. They don't call me handsome. Hey, handsome Cam. <laughs> I am um, average looking Johnny. All right, average looking Johnny. I am. We're here to play Trials Evolution in the all new local multiplayer, uh, same screen, four way multiplayer. And we've all got our, our bike set up, but um, I'm not sure who's which colour, so let's shout out. I'm yellow, actually, I'm the uh, top. Uh, top yeah. I'm blue. Cam blue. Cam is blue. I'm, I'm Seb green, Seb bottom green. right. Johnny is red. Red. Red for Johnny. With your yes. Red bikes go faster. Low powered bike. <laughs> is what I hear. Why are you on 250? Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. yeah, you are low power. Who's cheating? <laughs> yeah. Bike trigger for bike. Yes. Make sure we're all okay. on 4 450. Good. Just there a go. couple of bikes Good. to unlock here. Okay. Oh. All right. So right. we've um, we've uh, just had this code in this morning. Me and Cam have had a little bit of a, a go already. So Gee. that's the unfair advantage. Yep. That's that's the disclaimer here. I haven't played since Trials came out on Xbox Live a long time ago. Yeah. Red but, bikes go faster. But you're excited for <laughs> this. Totally yeah, totally so. Totally for this specific, to not this game, this specific <laughs> For this <section>. moment. Yeah. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> All right, so we've added a few uh, easy to medium uh, tracks on here. They're um, four lane tracks, as you'll, you'll shortly see, and we're not... We're not just wimps, there's, there's nothing harder than medium. So, okay. so that's why we're yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. All right, so uh, let's race. Let's do it. I wonder what's in the first 51 hangers. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a long that's week. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a long week. Go red bike, okay, go. go blue. Go yellow bike. Uh, I'm on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Good start, Sam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, red bike. <clears throat> yellow bike. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. This game always reminds me of oh, a no. game called Elastomania. If any of you guys have Elastomania. Yeah. Oh no, it was going so well. Tell us about that. <laughs> I regret that. <nothing. laughs> oh, it's a, oh, oh crap, um, crap. It's, it's, it's a game kind of like this where you have a bike that's all sort of springy and stretchy. Okay. Oh, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I've been playing way more Joe Danger than Trials lately, okay. so I keep trying to do flips. There we oh, go. I forgot to bail. No one did the bailout finish, but did we'll I talk win? about that on the next time. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> did, did yeah, I maybe? Win. But hang on a minute, because always adjust for points and yes. points. Yeah. But oh, I won. Yeah, that's actually, joined like. with me and Johnny. Sweet. Nice. Good work, there. So it's actually, got that Mario and, Party style actually, and expected so. ranking at the end. Yeah. Um, so the way it keeps you on the same screen, if, if uh, you haven't figured out already, is that uh, when you fall off the back, you get respawned in at the next checkpoint. Which I'm sure you've figured out already. Well, and the awesome. same if you crash. Like that. Yeah. You should have just demonstrated that. To show yeah. you what happens when you crash. Oh, I forgot how unforgiving this can be. I've been playing a lot of like Moto Heroes on um, on iOS yes. devices. Yes, oh, no. which is also um, by uh, Red Magic. Yeah, ah! yeah, but it's because you're in a kind of like a, a car with a handy roll cage, mm. oh. which is not a luxury of <laughs> 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 To the trials, like, unless you're in one of those weird like BMW scooter things. Um, Failed. Yes. yes. I failed. My guy's just about to wipe out <laughs> so hard. So this is new. Um, we've got it enabled. You can disable it uh, if you're not fun. Mm. Um, so you bail out with the Y button as as before, but you can actually cross the finish line with the bailout, which is probably faster than, than driving over the yep. finish line. Uh, but if you bail out too soon and you don't finish, you get no points. And you just spam around for a while. Yeah. Come on, green man's. Doing very well. Tell him. You went backwards, oh, Johnny. Really? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I oh. think I, like really messed up my bike. There. The screen's like, gonna wipe us out. Just keeps hitting the side of these like ramps and just <laughs> <laughs> turning into a sponge. Oh no! Green bike is winning. <laughs> oh, no. 
Ah. Green oh. bike is dead. <laughs> oh, yellow bike is stuck. <laughs> bail, bail. Oh, oh damn it. Wow. We are so good at you this. You really have to pay attention at all times. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can't look at someone else because then, yeah. then you're doomed. Yeah. Bail out. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just two bikes. Yeah. It's like the Grand National. The, horses back, without riding. Yeah. I feel like you're at a slight disadvantage oh, when you're on the far lane yeah. because you've got a lot going on in the foreground. Yeah, it's all distracting. But it is randomised, so yeah. you're not always in the background. No, I think they just put Ooh, worst really? man. I think I'm in the purple? same lane every yeah. time. Why am I purple? Uh, I'm moving around every time. Oh. I've become purple. That's interesting. Pripyat needs a white balance. Are we in Pripyat? We oh, are in yeah. Pripyat. We all die. <laughs> Isn't Frit yet? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, been in many a computer game there. Stalker. Yeah. It's slightly more cheerful than Stalker, if I'm honest. It's also in Call of Duty, isn't it? Is it? The first Modern Warfare 1, yeah. Oh, you got a Frit yet. Knowledge. Yeah. I like it. Anyone inspired to take up motorcycling? <laughs> this, you know it. This makes me feel like motorbikes may not be for me. Come on, in purple life. guy, for some reason. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! That was a swear. It was. Oh! oh. Bail out. No, man. What's going on, human? Come on, purple guy. Uh, lean forward, suck. lean forward. Oh, yes. what? Did, did, did not finish. Not finish. Uh, or do you come forever, down. Blue? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> come on, Green. Oh, How about what? them points? Yeah. I was not paying near enough attention. King. Oh, I don't, man, you I were think I'm out of the running now. You have to pull it back. I can't win this. You can always pull it back. Always pull it back. Right, here we go. Probably blue all again. to play for. That's a good sign. <laughs> I'd just like to make it through with my with my life. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. I'm a uh, blue guy. Uh, Got to build uh, back. Yeah. Johnny's red bike. Fastest. I played this. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, why are you trying to form <laughs> sentences <laughs> when on a yeah. motorbike? <laughs> oh, God. No, uh, I've lost no, it. No, no, that's the opposite of what I want. I've lost it. Come on, green guy. Oh. We haven't played this one. I have no idea where the finish line is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, there is Bill! Line. Oh! <laughs> no, my guy, Bill, then. I'm just stuck on the tower. <laughs> oh, there oh, Matt. Like, what's. Oh. What's going on? Oh. Someone's in pain. Oh, it's my guy. Oh, look at them. <laughs> you could so actually much hear pain. Him screaming. Yeah, again. that was horrifying. It's a Damn. harrowing, harrowing race. What do you well, do? what do you know? Oh, oh I, I dropped a third. Oh, man. Hooray for Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> he is modest and brave. <laughs> oh, and humble in victory. <laughs> wow. So that was the uh, all new multiplayer in Trials Evolution. What do you think? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah really I'm fun. really good at it. <laughs> yeah, I especially enjoyed the uh, the hard hitting theoretical criticism we were able to come up with while playing this. You definitely didn't just make a lot of noise. That's the problem. I think the more you talk, the worse you become at the game. Yeah. That's the thing. We found an unhappy medium of not playing very well and, and, talking and crap. commenting yeah. also. <laughs> but I enjoyed the part where Johnny won. Yeah. I think, yeah. We, I think we can all enjoy we can, that part. Sorry, we can all enjoy. Absolutely. If you enjoyed me winning, please leave a comment below. So that was Trials Evolution out uh, on April 18th on XPLA. And finally, it's time to wind down with a handful of your comments, which we love mostly. Comments like these on last week's piece of steampunky loveliness of upcoming assassination adventure Dishonored. On the art of Dishonored, GameSpot user Mr. Hip Hop Beats chimes in simply, Dishonored is looking pretty sweet. I can't wait to see a full-fledged trailer. While Digital Exile volunteers, Dishonored is looking to be pretty interesting. I quite like the steampunk genre, and I hope this game takes advantage of contraptions to create interesting scenarios in the environment. I had no idea the same guy was behind System Shock and Deus Ex, but that only ensured I keep my eye on this. Puts on the top hat and monocle. Well, as the renowned coat of arms of hacker group Lulzek is a monocle and top hat, we have no choice but to report you to the authorities. Digital Exile enjoy being a real world exile. Now, nah, but seriously, you'll be in prison. And Scriba reckons Dishonored's setting is a blend of Bioshock's underwater metropolis and Half Life 2's urban dystopia. Or, as he puts it, the city in Dishonored looks like City 17 and Rapture had a baby. Not a bad thing at all. Not a bad thing now, sure, but what happens when other places start getting frisky and having babies of their own? What if Silent Hill and Mushroom Kingdom had a baby? Won't somebody please think of the Mushroom Children? <coughs> Last but not least, and on another subject, it's Norman69 pondering Seb's living situation. He asks... 
If Seb doesn't own a house, then does he live in a cardboard box in the back alley of GameSpot UK HQ? It's more of a crate. If I play my cards right, I'll be upgrading to box at my next appraisal. And that's all you get this time around. Thanks for joining us as ever. And please pop your questions and comments on Life, the Universe and everything in the comments box. Until next time, game fans. Bloodforge. Where you forge all kinds of blood. <laughs> With your hammer and your... <laughs> on an anvil. On the blood anvil. <laughs> My hemoglobins. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> One blood, please. <laughs> Space motorbike racer to thank for our brawny overdeveloped trigger, trigger controller. Did you? Yeah. But our really clumsy no. underdeveloped and mouths. And that's when I lost the power of speech. Sending all my thoughts to my hands. <laughs> my <Yeah>. face. <laughs> all my brain power is just, just here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, so what are you doing this weekend? Big plans? Nothing. All right. Um, okay. That's cool. Uh, say I was to really miss you, how would I see more of more of you? Well, two options. Okay. You could either come visit me at my home. No. No. Okay. No. Uh, or you could uh, you could click that button. All oh, right. That button. And the we'll start, start select, select button. Right. Or as I call oh, it, the thinking. Seb select button. The Seb select button. Or uh, or Seb selecting. And or if I miss you yeah. and I want to see you in, in some other GameSpot. Game GameSpot. Thing, where could I where could I see that? Well, GameSpot is just up here in the top <laughs> left hand corner. I like that. I think if you find, if you click there, there'll, there'll be some Jane. There'll be some. Some Jane. Maybe some Seb. And some more <laughs> Seb. Shall we leave? Let's leave. Let's leave.